where's it gonna be? We'll go in somewhere here and just check it out. It all looks pretty beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we'll get in a bit. See how shallow it gets. What is it? It's only one meter here, so we just better be careful. One meter already. Guess we should lift that up. Yeah, beauty. Guess I should put the anchor out just in case. The uh, tide is going out, so I don't want to leave it too high and dry either. So, yeah, we'll move this out of the way. Move this out there. Should be right. What a beautiful day to be on the water. Bit overcast, but. After the weather we've been having, uh, this is like amazing, it's a godsend. So, uh, still a bit rough offshore and unfortunately the weather deteriorated really fast up the coast. It was looking primo up until this weekend and then um, all the islands and that sort of shut down, got really windy. So I was like, you know what, let's just go just a little up the coast and uh, like just go and explore some mangroves and do something different. So, we pulled up on this shore, we just got to find a campsite and uh, I've been here before, I don't think I've been to this specific one but I've been up and down this little sort of uh, bank here before and uh, camping a couple of them but how good is this one? I think I might have just found the perfect spot because yeah this is actually looking very nice straight off the bat. This could be the pick of the bunch but we will we'll walk up and down here and just have a little bit of a look, maybe even grab some firewood because that's always uh, something that needs to be done. But yeah, no, look, this big tree overhanging here gives me a nice attachment point. Wonder if we'll use that new uh, tent setup or we'll go the hoochie. Maybe we could go the hoochie setup and uh, try that new bug net I've got as well. Jeez, it's a good tree, isn't it? Look at it. That <laughs> stretches straight over. I was a bit like, oh, you know, this is not quite the island trip I was hoping for straight off the bat. But you know what? This is going to be just good. Just as good. You forget sometimes that you don't have to go. Like, oh, we're still a little bit up the coast. Probably about an hour drive, plus a little bit of a boat ride through the creeks to get here. So, yeah, but a lot of the time when I'm going to the islands, you know, that's, yeah, like minimum seven hours drive and upwards of two days, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I've done. So, this is sort of a little bit easier, isn't it? That's a gift log. Alright, yeah, no, I think just after a quick inspection, like that one is big and open, but it's not as nice really. And uh, I reckon, like, there's a bit grassy there, there's no flat area. So I reckon where we first pulled up will be the go. But uh, yeah, no, it's beautiful. Tell you first thing first though, let's go back, and I'm gonna have to get on the boat. We'll go catch something to eat, but I'll also go get some bug spray because. I am getting absolutely smashed by midges and I've only been here for a couple of seconds so yeah definitely hoochie set up with a bug tent I'll definitely take this with me though that's a gift we'll get a little fire going later today see if we can uh yeah the main goal today will be just to catch a nice couple of flatties or one flatty really for dinner and then uh and then come what may I don't know <laughs> we'll see what else see what else we can come up with just leave that there and bug spray bug spray far out a lot of people ask me whether I use bug spray on these trips the answer is yes and the answer is it barely works most of the time <laughs> after the while they sometimes get used to it sometimes it's good let's get this boat off there it's sitting on the sand a bit high definitely don't want it I definitely don't want to be stuck here yet in this one I think It's a bit moist in there, oh no. Jeez, must have caught a bit of water in there last trip. Oh no. Yeah, right, everything's mouldy and rusty. What's going on here? Okay, that works. We've got another one here. Oh, no, that's no good. Oh, the knives are alright. A bit worried they're going to be really, really rusty. That's definitely rusty in there. 
take care of that as well. But we can fix that. And no bug spray, geez. Might be new, due for some new uh, ones of these as well. Now that they're so mouldy. Yeah, I think these vents up the top must have copped a bit of either salt water or fresh sort of sprayed in them. And uh, it's managed to make it pretty gross. So we'll clean that up in a sec. But where do I keep my bug spray again? <laughs> It's definitely in this one. Hey! Oh, it's, it's pretty empty though. Alright. We'll make do. Let's get it on. <laughs> Tropical strength, eh? He's hoping. I think we'll keep this out. We'll be needing that. Knowing that the bugs are that thick here, and we're going to camp just here, I think maybe what we might do is go for a fish. We need to catch something to eat. I think it's almost dead low, which is what we want to get all those sort of flatties condensed into the lowest part of like the mouths of all those creeks. So that could be a good way to go. We'll fish now and we'll fish all the way through till uh, it's time to come and set back up the tent. And that way we'll avoid the midges and mozzies until we've got something going and then that way we'll be ready to sort of set up a fireplace straight away and as soon as we get the fire going that will also help us with the bugs yeah i think that's what we'll do we'll be back it's a nice campsite though i'm excited now I might just get the controlling motor out and flick along this bank and just work my way down and then come down along the other side into any of the drains you can find. Okay. What are we going to use? This was more just for cussing if there was some tailor or something sort of busting out. So we'll get rid of oh, put some new more rod holders up the back, which is cool. This is uh, working out well for me. Just having some more options just so that it can be straight up and out the out of the way from the front because I really want to be starting out the front. And this was just in case we sort of switch to something like garfish, I don't know, maybe. Can have a muck around for those later. Yeah, that's gonna work great. There's another storage compartment in here too. So yeah. Sweet new rod storage. Yeah, oh, you can see we took the yabby pump as well. Just in case we want to sort of get some nippers and see if we can get some whiting. It's always sort of fun and something I don't often do. So literally just little soft plastic. We're not going for monster flatties, we're just going for good eating size ones. But it uh, should do the trick. Little nemesis curly tail. And then, um, yeah, what do we got here? Oh yeah, we put uh, this, uh, so you can see it's a raised rod holder section now. But it's not so much for raised rod holder. It's more, so I had, um, uh, a little bit more so when the esky is butted up against here it closes the gap a little bit more and uh, I can put the sleeping mat so if I turn this around and I'm using the boat tent I've got just that little bit more support for me and then uh, I can also just put the sleeping mat over it cool to have the tops open so I still get the use of the uh, rod holder in there as well and I can just leave that in there almost permanently oh yeah and we put this nice rubber uh, matting on top of the uh, the uh, cooler which is nice Nice on the feet and also good for a seat, but also it uh, takes some of the heat out of the top so it keeps the uh, everything cool inside for longer. Not that I've really got any ice or anything in there this time. It's more, of, more just storage. But, let's have a little flick just on this edge. There's actually a little mud bank that sort of comes up on this little edge here. There's a lot of current there though. So we're we'll probably missing out on our chance. Yeah, this is uh, just a bit too uh, light, <laughs> I think, with that little jig head. So we'll go with something slightly heavier. Not much heavier, but just to get it down and just to bounce it along a bit better. And we'll go with the old bleak colour. Hopefully, it produces the goods.
Okay. We got a hit. What is it? Oh, it is a buddy. Oh, don't drop him. Oh, that's why. Right. This is where we need the net, and I never have one. Okay, we're gonna have to risk it this time, but we'll get the net out. Whoa! Hey! We made it. Ooh, will he make. Uh, what is he? A dusky? Or is he a. Uh, I think he's a dusky with the big blotch at the back. That big black spot. I better uh, measure him because he might not be quite the size we need. So, what I'll do, let's get the net out. Because we always talk about using the net, and I never seem to get it out at the appropriate time. Now is the appropriate, now is the appropriate time, so let's do it. Alright, and then what we can do is we can get him in to the net and we can let him sit in the water for a second. What a great looking fish though, hey? And I'll get a measure. I've been meaning to get like some kind of proper measure, but I haven't actually done it. But uh, I did have a little bit of a measuring tape. Here we go, okay. Because I didn't have anything to bring and I thought I'd just I'll cut one of these brag mats up <laughs> and do that. So, and I glued a little bit of a, uh, with double sided tape, I put it on like that. So we've got a little uh, measuring board here. So he's had a nice breather. So we'll get him in. And we get the measuring tape out. So he has to actually be 40. So now that I'm seeing him, I'm actually starting to think he might not make the 40. He's probably about 35, 6, 7, maybe 37, and, uh, 36, 37 in between. So unfortunately, he's no good. You have to go back, bro. Oh well. Okay, you just don't want to get spiked on the sides. They've got nice big spikes on the sides of their head and they really hurt. So, let's get him back in. Bummer. There you go, mate. <laughs> Watch him just glide off. Boo. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, it's good for him, which is nice. But, oh well, at least we caught something. Okay, we're off to start, you know. Didn't take long. That was probably only a couple of casts in with the, uh, the new lure tied on, so... Yeah, we'll give that another crack. Alright, let's get back into it. See if we can take the pressure off and take the, oh my god, I've got nothing to eat pressure off. <laughs> Keep casting. There's no reason why there could be a big one just sitting right on the edge here. flatty here. I actually wasn't expecting to catch something here, I was just having a bit of a flick. <laughs> just hoping. Yep, we'll get the net. Oh, watch out Ryan, don't lose him. Uh, I've got a feeling he's going to be very very similar to the last one. Oh, hang on. But is he? Oh, no, he's a dusky as well. Yeah, he's nowhere near. He might actually be smaller than the other one. Yeah, well, he's probably maybe a centimetre smaller, <laughs> but uh, jeez, oh, well, we're getting some fish, uh, well, sort of, <laughs> well, another beautiful looking fish, but uh, once again, not quite what we're after, a bit bigger, or definitely what we're after, just a bit too small, see ya buddy, well, we're catching fish, they're just not big enough, <laughs> Just need one slightly bigger. Tide's coming in, so maybe it'll slowly allow me to get in here. But we will see. Just gonna chuck that in there. <laughs> but what I wanna do is actually just uh, go for a little walk on the bank. Hopefully I don't sink too far down into the mud. And uh, if we can just get up and just walk up the drain, <laughs> maybe that could be a good option. But a lot of the time, sometimes it gets pretty crazily uh, sinky. <laughs> so, yeah, oh yeah. Every now and then, you could just go straight under. So, <laughs> we'll see how far we get. Here we go. We are getting a bit sinky here. But we have made it to the drain as well. So, let's just get over here. Oh, that was down to knee height almost.
straight into the weed. <laughs> uh oh. Going down. <laughs> Thought the drain would be better. Try and get it up there just for a sec. Yeah, as soon as I hit it, unfortunately I'm getting stuck pretty much on the weed almost instantly. Yep, might have to check back. Don't know if this is going to work. Seagrass has held me up a bit better. Almost back. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a try and fail. And we got a bit of mud on the old legs, but that was right. Gotta give it a go. Because we're not stuck here, which we're not. That's good. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> well, we got one fuddy here. I guess that's something. We go and try and pump some yabbies and uh, just do something different. Getting sick of uh, fishing for floodies that aren't there. <laughs> they might be there, but I'm not catching them obviously. Yeah. Rearrange that a little bit. So we'll throw the anchor out, the tide's coming in. Oh, we'll grab these two. And that way we can go back to near the campsite and just muck around with the. Uh, with the yabbies and hopefully sort of come up with something for dinner as the sun gets a little lower. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Quick sand pumping. <laughs> Where to? Right here. Bit muddy, can't see him. Might go a little shallower so I can pick him up faster. Could be one in there, but <laughs> come up here. That's a proper size one. This one, <laughs> there's a decent one. And there's another that's not quite as big, but it'll be better than what we were getting. So that's what we're after. Nippers or yabbies. And they're great bait for a lot of stuff. So <laughs> hopefully uh, we can uh, catch a nice fish with them. Need a lot more than that though. Oh, there's a little guy. Here we go, now we're getting a few. Ooh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. That was a good one. Ow, <laughs> he bit me. Gotcha. Okay, we've been having some pretty good success all of a sudden, so I think we've probably got enough. Oh, there's a big one. There's a good one. And you. It's probably enough for now. Can always get more. Yeah, no, nah, we'll call that. We've got quite a lot in here. We'll go and rinse them out over near the boat and check them out. Okay, I'll take a quick look. So as you can see we've got 
a decent amount of bait there. <laughs> Not too bad for like, you know, 10 to 15 minutes worth of pumping. But uh, yeah, we started off slow, but we ended up getting quite a few, which is good. Sun's getting a little lower now. I better hurry up, otherwise I'm gonna be eating a pack of chips. <laughs> Turn you off for now, probably won't need you, but at least we've got all those yabbies. We can have a muck around here if we need to, and we can do that all night. But I don't want to be setting up a tent at night, because that sucks. <laughs> so, let's do that now. Okay. Someone's hat's washed up. Yeah, right. Snap back. <laughs> Oh well, can't imagine they're going to come back for it, but I'll just chuck it up here anyway. Sang it up there, someone might come back for it. What we also might do is give these guys some fresh water. <laughs> Wonder if you can eat nippers. <laughs> Don't want to have to. <laughs> Wonder what they taste like, they're a bit small aren't they? Okay. Let's hope that uh, the midges don't eat me alive while I do this. Jeez, it's a nice spot though, isn't it? Look at it. Turn up. We're doing hoochie, we'll only need four pegs. So we've got these straps which I like to use. It's nicer around the tree as well, doesn't ruin the uh, bark. Not that we're going to be here for that long, but it's always nice to do uh, something that's a little nicer on the trees. So anyone that used to watch the old videos will know all about this. If I can get it through here, which I can't seem to. <laughs> there, cut. All right, here we go. We got it. Okay, one side through, we'll get the other strap and we'll thread it through. I'm guessing we're probably going to use one of these branches over here. But uh, it's not as sturdy looking as some of the other branches I usually would use, but I think it'll probably be strong enough. Which is the sturdiest one? Mm, not so much. Yeah, you're more sturdy than that one. Okay. You know what? Maybe we could go around both and that'll give us double. I do like this uh, hoochie setup. I missed it. Grew up doing it in like cadets and things like that. And uh, yeah, there's something about it. There's definitely something about it that makes it uh, feel like uh, the way I should be camping. Beauty. Yep, that will be fine. Now yeah, it's as simple as just pegging it out. Normally I'd put little guys on each uh, edge, but I didn't really bring extra cord apart from the cord that's on there. And honestly, I don't think it'll matter, matter anyway. Is it? How good is it looking already? It's looking like home. That wind's picked up a bit. Probably just as well. Keep the midges at bay. Give me a chance. Nice. Nice and tight. Yeah, I can get rid of these guys. Maybe shoot at some stage, but. Leave it there for a sec. All right. Look how cool it is. So good. That's a good shelter right there. Probably do it even a little higher, but it's no real big deal. Just going to be seeping in here. If you want to do uh, it a little higher, just so you can sit and. You no, know, I can sit sort of just like this anyway, and there's, uh, there is enough room. But uh, yeah, yeah. We're looking good. Oh, let's get that hat off. It's cooking me. But uh, yeah, no, looking good. Such a good homely feel. It really does make me feel like, oh, look at this pigweed. I do love this setup. 
and we'll get the bug net out now because we definitely need that later on Jesus you can see how fast that Sun's going down so we better just get uh, completely set up shelter wise you don't want to get caught out okay, so we got the bug net hanging in there to be honest this is actually frustrating me just like remember the original hoochie it's fine because I'm only here for one night but that frustrates me because it cancels out so much room in there. You're losing that side area a little bit. You can't cook in there bug free. So all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel like I did when I originally was using the hoochie setup. And uh, it's a little frustrating um, because you can't get that bug, bug net to really, you know, use. You've got this huge tent and you can't get the bug net to sort of fit very well. So there could be some mods uh, coming in the future <laughs> to make it a bit more uh, user friendly for me or for what I do Lots of firewood. I've been grabbing a few bits here and there And we did get this bit before What's this? It's, uh, it's exactly what I need <laughs> It's a measurement board Measurement board from the Flathead Classic, which year? 2022 Flathead Classic. <laughs> Sweet. You know what? I probably won't keep it on the boat permanently, but I might actually use that. Not that I've caught any fish, so you know, maybe I don't need it after all, but we'll still take it because it's rubbish. It's uh, sort of washed up, but yeah, no, cool. Oh, that's a good stick. Take that one with us. Oh, it's a bit, mm, it might be dry enough. Oh, look, this pine cone will burn too. I'll take that. Pine cones always go well. But someone else has obviously brought wood because that's definitely a, uh, a brought piece. There's still a decent amount to burn there, so that'll go well. It's a nice big bit. And we'll make do with what we can find. There's still enough. I saw some other bits down here. And I might chuck that on the boat. Just in case we actually do catch a fish, you need to measure it accurately. The tape thing I had was fine, but hey, might as well uh, pop that there. <laughs> we'll start at that size, and no doubt it'll grow a little bit over time. Oh, yeah. Still getting a bit itchy. Uh, what can we find here? Little will go with these light leaves. They go well. Well, we'll see how those ones go. Well, we might be running for something else, but oh, casuarine is always good. This tree here. So when it drops its leaves, they dry up. And just small fine little uh, bristles, this stuff here, so that's always good for a fire starter. The trick with that is don't be shy, start off with lots. <laughs> but we're cheating and using a lighter today, so. Nice and dry. So we won. I was worried because of all the rain we've had that everything would be a bit moist and unusable, but this is fine. Super dry. There's a serious amount of uh, bugs around me, that's for sure. Hopefully this smoke will start clearing these bugs out almost immediately. I'm definitely going to need it too because I'm starting to starting to get the better of me. <laughs> Stand in the <this> smoke. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. 
definitely um, after a while you can feel just everything just start to burn or your legs you can you know they're getting more and more bitten with uh, midges <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it until this fire's gone let's get a couple of bit more substantial bits on and then I guess we really need to catch something for dinner don't we what are we going to do? I'm kind of ignoring that problem. <laughs> um, yeah. What am I going to do? I guess we just start flicking around here. We can still jump in the boat if we wanted to, I guess. But now that I've got the fire going, I'm kind of comfortable. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to do? Well, all we can do is try. You never know. Might be the odd whiting or something around here. No reason why they couldn't be here. Okay. We'll, uh, oh, if I stand in the water, it's gonna make my legs feel better. But the problem with that is, then we're wiping our insect spray off. Oh, bite straight away. Come on, be a whiting. Please be a whiting. Concentrating. I think he might have taken my bait. <sighs> oh, well, that's promising. At least something bit it. Here's my hook. There we go. Put another one on. That's very promising. <laughs> See if we can get interest as fast as we got it a second ago. Oh, definitely getting nibs. Must be pretty tiny if they're not going to swallow that bit whole. Oh, okay, we got him. Whatever he is. Oh, he got off. Bugger. We had him for a second, though. Okay. There's definitely something there. We'll throw that little bit of prawn or... Carry that out again. Still worth... Jeez, I'm not sure about this red line. I can't see. Oh, oh okay, we got him now. Oh, yeah. What's this going to be? Is it a whiting? No, it's not a whiting. It's a little brim. It was a tar one. <laughs> oh well, we caught something though. I hope there's something else there as well though, because he's definitely not big enough. Come on, buddy, settle down. Yowch. Spiky. All right. Well, he is not really the target species, but he's cute. Oh, see you, mate. Hopefully, it's not just a whole pack of you guys. Hopefully there's a couple of little whiting cruising around, but the bite is hot. <laughs> so let's get stuck into it, huh? We might be able to scrounge up dinner after all. Maybe. <laughs> How's the fire going down up there? Yeah, it's still going. As long as we're not burning the bush down. <laughs> Straight on. Big one. Oh, we got something else. Oh, oh, geez, we're water skiing him in. <laughs> oh, we got him. Oh, it's another. Uh, this one is another Taiwan. Far out. Tell me there's something other than you guys. Ah, oh, geez. Lower those fins, buddy. All right, another one. Almost look like the same one. I think the first one was slightly bigger, if you can call something that size bigger. <laughs> Unfortunately, they do have a size limit, those guys have 25 centimeters, so we can't keep one of them. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, there's got to be, there's always a school of whiting around. Always. Oh, 
Oh, missed it. Pull my bait off there. Check. Yeah, new bait. Got nibs. Oh, we got him. Whatever it is, was it going to be? Very little fight. Oh, oh no, he's he's going for it now though. It's like he didn't realise or something. Oh, ah, oh, no. I got a feeling it's just going to be one after the other. These guys. <laughs> you were 25 centimeters. I tell you what, you've been big trouble, buddy. <laughs> Another one. See ya, mate. <laughs> one last chance here, and then we'll move. Maybe we'll walk up the beach a little bit. Come on, whiting, whiting. Oh, okay, we got something. Please be a whiting, please, please. Oh, just starting to spark up. Could it be, could it be? Ah, oh, it is not. Slightly bigger Taiwan though, he's getting closer to the, uh, we're getting closer to the mark we need. Ah, oh, yeah, I think, unfortunately though, it seems to be that just these guys hanging around. Stop. Ah, youch. <laughs> He got me. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so what are our options? We need to move spots, I think. Oh, we got him. Whatever he is. Uh, similar fight to the other ones. I got a feeling it's gonna be another tar wine. Ah, it is. Okay. It's pretty rare you go to a spot and you can't catch a whiting like Come on, mate. Chill. Alright. <laughs> Another one. You'd think it was the same one, wouldn't you? See ya, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let's jump in the boat. See if we can find a spot. We've got a bit of time. Just gonna give it a crack. Hope for the best. <laughs> Would you believe we didn't get a bite? Not one bite on the other side there. Uh, I'm getting some bites. Oh, damn. I think I just lost my bait. Still biting. Uh, I think it might be time to face some facts. Because <laughs> filming in the dark doesn't exactly make for the best footage really either on GoPros, so... Yeah, okay. Let's, uh... Let's call it quits. <laughs> that is a... Uh, oh, she right. I guess we should just let these guys go then. All that bait. Ugh. <sighs> 
I suppose we should get out. In a minute. <laughs> okay, if I get out there, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get attacked by bugs. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? We're gonna brave it. I guess we have to. So, there's the boat key. You can always run back, I guess. Yeah. Oh dear. Ah, oh, cool. I was wondering if the boat would be in water or not. <laughs> and it is, just. Oh, it's been pushed sideways though. Yeah, no. Cool. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually a little cold. Um, last night, like, uh, it was fine until about maybe three in the morning and then all of a sudden this cold snap came through. It was, getting, it was a bit uh, chilly, but uh, it's all right. I guess we should push this boat straight just so we know we can launch it. The tide still has a bit to come up, but it's better not to uh, have the boat this way because it'll just get bogged. <laughs> just to wait for that next big wave to come in. Yeah. There we go. Always nice to see your boat floating properly. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get pushed up again, but at least now I know it can be floated. Just keep an eye on it while the tide comes in a little bit more. And I think the current's ripping back that way, so that's probably why it's getting pushed that way. Oh, well. If the boat's launchable, then I guess maybe we should just jump straight on it and go fishing. That way I avoid the bugs bucket up there and I don't need to start the fire yet. But uh, yeah, what do I leave up there? Let's go have a few things and we might as well go and try and get this uh, flathead that we always wanted. <laughs> so just sat here, had a nice little fire and just chilled out. So the camera's making it look very light, but it's actually not quite as light as it really is. But, uh, whew, yeah, not a bad sleep. Whoo, glorious. Where's that sun? Yes. Where's gonna be my best sort of bet? People always say that this bank here is always good for some flatties coming up and over it, but uh, certainly wasn't having that much like yesterday with fish at it in any like form. Like I didn't get one hit of, uh, even on the, the yabbies on that side, had a little bit of a go and didn't even get like one on the yabbies. Didn't even get a bite. Thought I'd at least get a little uh, baby broom or something. But we're getting swept out in the right direction at least. <laughs> Let's think about it. Wouldn't you better in the camera? And maybe, I guess we could just try over that side and work our way back down while it, the tide will push me down. All right, we'll be back campsite. Maybe we'll go just across here. We'll get pushed down along the edge of the sandbank. Actually, you'd think that the flatties would sit on the edge of that rise, wouldn't you? And just hit things that fall off. Maybe we can cast all the way down this bit here. Comes up to two meters. And if I know flatties, they like to sit on just where it drops off on the edge. Maybe we just, let's just try it and we'll see where we end up. We'll see where I get pushed. If you look on the sounder, it goes from say two meters to tens and it starts dropping off right into the main channel. And, Seems like prime flatty hunting territory. Look, you can see fish all hanging on this drop off as well. All those little dots there. So it might not be such a bad idea. Because the floodies will like to hang on that little edge as well and wait for fish just to get pushed over and then smash them. In theory. <laughs> Thank you. 
Probably could put a bigger jig head on, I guess. Could be an option as well. Yeah, this one did get down though. How deep is it? Only three meters, four meters. Oh, the theory proves correct. Not no size, but <laughs> wow. Okay, so turns out I reckon there really might be uh, floodies just hiding on that edge. Look at this guy, eh? Look all all white because he's been on the sand. But uh, oh, buddy, it's a nasty hookup. Hopefully we can get that off without causing too much damage. You know what? I'll get the rag for that one just to hold you nice and steady. Ready to go, bud? I think he is. Alright, but the theory proved correct. Oh, <laughs> see you, mate. Just go back up on the drop off. Damn, I thought we were really onto something there. There's definitely bait hanging off the edge of that lip, but yeah, not getting any hits now. Wind is a little, uh, yeah, just a little more sporty than I wanted it to be. See what we can find on some of these edges here, then, eh? <laughs> up in the nice shallows hopefully the big guys come up and just sun themselves in the shallows maybe <laughs> Maybe a bit more snaggy here though so I'll have to watch out I've got one. Let's see if he's got any size. He's a little bit bigger than the first one this morning. Let's get the net out. Just in case he is size. We don't want to lose him. No, 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 no. Okay. We got him. We got him. He looks like he might be a little bit bigger. Jeez. Okay, we've got spot lock on, don't we? Yes. Yep. All right. Oh, well, we might as well get our, our measuring board out. Let's see if we make the uh, see if I make the quota for a, uh, a meal this morning. Buddy, come on, work with me here. If we're stretching him right out, let's see. Oh, geez, uh, don't move for a sec, buddy. Okay, we got him. Jeez, are we good with that? Is everyone good with that? Like we must be like a millimetre over. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, look, he is right, right on the button, 40. So he is legal, but um, like by a millimetre. I don't feel really good about it, but we're gonna do it because um, yeah, like it's been pretty slim pickings. We haven't caught anything. We've been fishing for, you know, probably over maybe an hour and a half now I'd say and we've only caught two fish and here's one of them so we're gonna do it okay let's do it mate okay come on I'm sorry but uh you are you are coming with me <laughs> and we got another one but uh <laughs> He's uh, not size. <laughs> He's a big uh, five, fit 25. <laughs> yeah. 
you ready for a whiting? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just flicked it. No, that works for me. These little guys can be painful. See you later. Whoa! See you, buddy. I guess I should uh, go and uh, cook this guy up. He is still there, isn't he? Jeez. There he is. Yep. Yeah. No, he's still chilling. <laughs> Right on the button, buddy. I'm sorry. It's looking like you might be uh, coming home for breakfast. All right, let's do it. I think. I think uh, it's time. We put in a little couple more casts in there, but we did have not haven't had any more luck. So um, yeah, we'll get out of here and we'll go and start a fire. You know what? While we're here in a nice, peaceful spot, and uh, I'm not getting attacked by too many bugs. Maybe we'll get him and we'll uh, fill it him up. See Not the biggest flathead we've ever seen, but definitely will be quite tasty. actually get a pretty decent yield off them really considering the size and uh what we started with i'm sorry buddy but uh yeah i guess uh someone said don't say sorry well it's just i guess i guess what i'm really saying is i'm grateful and uh yeah I'm like yeah i guess that's what i'm kind of saying that is that is where we fit in the world everyone's sort of part of the food chain at some point huh? Just before he ate me, just before I'm gonna eat him, he was eating uh, all those little bait fish, which just happened to look like my lure. <laughs> so that's the way it works. We all sort of fit into the food chain at some point, and at some point, say when I'm spearfishing or on the kayak, maybe I'll become the part of the food chain as well one day. Hopefully not. Hopefully, look, we're all trying to avoid that, whether you're a flathead swimming along, or a shark, or me paddling along. We're all trying to avoid being someone else's meal, but it's all fair game at the end of the day. Humans are very good at pretending like we're not part of the food chain. And then the rules don't apply to us, but they really do. We're very good at, well, it's so easy to sort of disassociate yourself with it. Because you can just rock up to a supermarket or a burger joint and you don't have to get your hands dirty anymore. And the reality is, yeah, we are still part of nature, and uh, yeah, nature doesn't always work out for everyone, unfortunately. Not everyone can be the winner. All right, so what we're going to do is now that we've got these delicious little fillets, I know it doesn't look like much, but we're going to turn this into a pretty nice meal by cutting it into a few strips. Right, turn it around that way. Hold it up here. Okay, we just want a whole bunch of strips like that. It's kind of the perfect flesh to do this with, actually. There we go. There's our flathead meal. And I'm pretty excited about what we can turn this into. So we've got something to rest stuff on. And hold in that heat.
This is just a uh, thyme. So we'll cut some of that up. So that can just go in. Just want the thyme in there. That will be delicious. A little bit of chili. This uh, thing is sliding all over. <laughs> That I'd say would be just some salt and pepper. Ah, someone's come to visit. Hello, mate. <laughs> How you going? You're used to being fed, aren't you? But I don't really have anything. See, if it looks straight away, he's onto it. He's like, are you giving away free stuff? <laughs> you're pretty impressive, bud, but you're not having any of my flathead fillets. That'll be one mouthful for you. Okay, they look good. So, we've got that in there. So just uh, turn around here so you can see what I'm doing. And then just some olive oil. To get it all going. <clears throat> then we're just gonna mix that up. So, just pop those down there. And I'll just pop this under there so it doesn't slide around as much. And just capsicum chunks. Want them to soak in a bit of water so uh, they don't burn so quick. <laughs> and now we're just going to thread some ingredients on these skewers. Start with the zucchini, huh? And then we're going to put our fish. Maybe we'll need to cut the fish down into two pieces each skewer, I think. One on and then we'll fold it over. So it's sit like that. Nice little piece of fish. There we go. There's one. Now we just gotta make a stack of them and <laughs> we'll do the rest. It's a pity we didn't have one more flathead because we could go heavier on the meat, but that's you know that's life. that oh ho, 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 almost lost you oh how easy was that it's like the bite in your eyes ready to get off <laughs> thank you okay let's see if we can get this spread out in the Holy and a little less fiery. <laughs> there we go. Now we're starting to look a bit more coalsy. Ooh, so much heat on it. Just gonna 
watch out, I think that oil's sparking up again. I should burn off in a sec. Instantly burning my skewers, that's no good. Alright, these ones at this end probably could be turned. Ooh. Oh yeah, wow, yum. Oh. Wow, they're starting to look really, really good. A little bit longer, let them soak up all of that really tasty, smoky flavour. Happy with those. Let's get them off. Oh, devastating. Look at that bit of capsicum. Just over there should be fine. Squeeze a bit of lemon on. Just here in the grassy bit. Oh wow, no, this looks pretty, pretty good. It's a perfect food to eat on camera as well. I don't need to use cutlery. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Zucchini. Zucchini cooks up so good, doesn't it? <laughs> but let's get a bit of that flat ham. Mm. I can taste the um, thyme already. Oh my God, it really is so good. This came out <laughs> this came out way better than I expected as well. Like I knew it was gonna be nice enough. It's like you couldn't really go wrong, it's just basically grilled fish, but with the vegetables. Mmm, onion and capsicum, zucchini. It's a match made in heaven. And that flathead, you can really taste the chili and thyme. That thyme is so good. Mmm. Here's another bit of flatty here. And look, one flathead actually turned into enough. Well, that little grill worked out well, didn't it? That made it very cool addition to the set. Ah, oh, man. Let's get another one. Amazing. Well, we did it. <laughs> mm. It was a bit touch and go for a second there, wasn't it? No food last night bit of a change of pace from the islands and something different but look certainly can't complain about this setting and uh yeah no it's a very 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 lovely spot apart from the bugs the bugs are very hard to deal with they are very overwhelming and they definitely they're definitely here in force that's for sure mm, the flutter is really it's a highlight it's particularly good We'll have to do some more skewers with some other fish as well. We'll have to come up with some other recipes. Um, but geez, this re it would work well with so many different fish. I might get some metal uh, skewers. I think metal skewers would be better. Well, I guess we'll uh, sign off then in that case. We've had a good uh, time. Nice camp out. Catch and cook sort of in the wrong order. We really wanted that for dinner. But to be honest, if I got something late at night, it would have been really hard to film and nothing ever really looks as good at night you know with the torch on it and it'll be pretty dodgy so i'm not upset about the way it all fell in the end and uh it certainly made me uh work for it so it makes the meal even more delicious all right well i'll see you in the next video <laughs> see ya